Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, mini coffee cup holder. Um, I've seen a lot of them out there and I thought they were really super cute. And so I went in search of some of these um, little four ounce cups and I found some in a couple different places. Um, a lot of them you have to buy in like packs of a hundred. Um, this one I, I happened to buy um, from Amazon that were in packs of 50. So that seemed more reasonable for me. But um, there's a lot of different ones out there that I've seen. This one um, is kind of a combination of a couple different patterns that are out there. Um, this is not my original idea. Um, I just embellished it a little bit differently um, for my uh, purpose. We have um, conferences coming up, and so I thought I would make each one of the teachers on my team just a little um, gift because they're long days. So um, if you take a look, I have um, I use the amber and apricot paper. Um, I also, for the base, use the really shiny gold paper that is sold at Country Craft Creations, and it's really nice to work with. It does not crack, and I was worried that it would, um, but you can't probably see it on the camera, but it is a shiny gold, and it works really nice, so you might want to give that a try. So I just have some leaves. They look kind of like angel wings, though. Uh, once I put them on here because of the size. And I had a 49 and Market flower from Country Craft Creations. The coffee cup made a tag, put a, one of the chipboard elements on there. Uh, I like the little extra touch of pearls on the edge of the, uh, the lid. And I just, you have to have a hole cut here. Um, back here, if you slide this out, it's an envelope and I haven't sealed it because I haven't put anything in there yet, but I'm gonna put a gift card in there and it fits just perfectly behind here and there's a little slot. Uh, slot. Okay, so I thought that's a nice little gift. Um, I'll put candy um, or breath mints or something or maybe those coffee beans or there's coffee candy and I'd put that inside. So if you are interested in making this, I'm going to go ahead and show you the pieces that you need to cut and um, the process of putting it together. So I'll be giving you some measurements. So if you want to get a pen and paper to write these down. So the base of the uh, holder is that shiny gold paper like I told you. And you are going to need a piece that's 3 by 10 and a half. And that's going to be the the uh, this back part so three by ten and a half and then you're going to need for where the coffee cup sits in um, hold on oh, my son was texting me um the base is five by five and that's where the coffee cup sits okay so you'll need those two pieces as far as decorative paper goes um, oopsie I need to glue something real quick I bumped it and it came off. It wasn't all the way dry. I love this glue too because I know it'll stick really easy. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm talking to myself. Okay. So, decorative paper. Um, this is what I chose for the envelope, and I use the envelope punch board. And, um, for this one, you're going to need it to be a five and a half inch square. So five and a half by five and a half. So there's that. Um, there are two pieces, um, one for the back uh, of the coffee holder and then one in the very back that you won't see unless you turn it around. And I didn't do it on this one. Um, there's decorative paper here and on this one that I make, I'm gonna plan on putting one on the back too. But this one's just that shiny paper, okay? Um, so there's two measurements here. Um, you need a two and three fourths by three and three fourths. That's the one for the back behind. And then you're going to need one that's two and three fourths by three and a half. Okay, so there's that. And um, you're going to need to decide how you're going to embellishment. I cut out uh, these leaves that I have um, with the shiny gold paper. I wish you could see how pretty it is. Um, it's hard to tell on camera, but it's, it's really pretty. And I know she sells different colors than just gold, too. Um, so I cut out two of those. Um, found a fl another flower that I'm going to attach. 
I cut out um, a ticket or a tag, a mini tag, and then I cut one a little bit smaller. And then I took one of the chipboard pieces and attached that and it says happy. On the original one I made, I punched a hole and then wrapped some like real, it's kind of like twine around to hold it on. But this time I think I'm going to use this really pretty uh, crinkle ribbon that uh, Tammy has in her store. And I'll wrap that around, make it a bow, and then have this hang just underneath of it. So. Um, I also have uh, that real fine um, strand of pearls that I'll glue around the edge of the lid. And I cut out um, some three strips. They are two and three fourths inches long and the width is just shy of a half inch and that's to go in the front and on the sides. So three of those and I uh, measured those at just a hair under half uh, and then two and three fourths inches long. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll start with, let's start with the envelope and get that out of the way. Let me move my stuff to the side. Oh, you're going to, let me back up a little bit before I start. So um, when you wrap the cup, it's larger at the top than the bottom. So you cannot just cut a um, strip of paper that's the same length all the way around. Um, it does need to be have a slight curve and this doesn't look perfect and by no means is it but it's gonna work and it'll be it'll look fine on the cup. So what I had to do was I took one of the cups and I cut it and I cut the lip off the top and the I cut this piece off the bottom and I cut off the lip at the top and then I flattened it and that's going to be my pattern. But when you trace it, you're going to need to add just a little bit more at the end, probably another half inch, three fourths of an inch, so that it will overlap and you can adhere it with your uh, IU score tape. So this would just meet on the cup. So make it, when you cut it, you'll have to cut it a little bit longer um, so that it overlaps. Okay, so now let me get my mess cleaned up here a little bit. So for those of you who have the envelope punch board, um, this is the uh, five and a half by five and a half inch square. You're going to place your paper at the two and three eighths uh, mark on the um, ruler across the top here. So let me find my... Um, yeah, two and three eighths. And so you just punch, and I forgot to take my score tool out. And I'm going to go ahead and do that score line. And now when I turn it, I line up the score line on where this blue sticks out here that points down at the score line. Punch again. I'm going to go ahead and score, turn it, the score line lines up with this blue piece that sticks out, punch and score, turn it one last time, line it up with that line, punch and score. Okay, and again this is for the gift card. So I like to round the corners, and so on the back of the punch board, I'm just going to place this inside and punch the four corners so that they're rounded. All right, so I'm done with the punch board. I'll go ahead and, and crease these on the score lines and I'm not going to adhere it. You, you know, usually put a little dab of glue or tape when, once the envelope's done, but being as I don't have my gift card in there, I'll just keep it like this. So then I know um, this will be what tucks behind. Okay, so that's done. We can put that off to the side. Where do I put it so I don't lose it when I need it? I'll put it over here. Okay, so now let's... Let's work on the base. Um, let me come out a little bit so you can see. Okay, um, this is the 
three by ten and a half inch piece and the ten and a half inch it goes across the top we have two score marks we're going to make it's going to be at three inches and six and three fourths so the three inches and the six and three fourths okay i'm going to move that off to the side while i have this out i'm going to go ahead and do my five inch square also um, this is where uh, the base is going to hold the cup. So you're going to make the same score lines on all four sides. We'll score at one half inch and at one inch on all four. I usually go over the score line twice just to make sure I get a good impression. One half and one. One more side, one half, and one. Okay, and I'll put away my score tool now, or my uh, scoreboard. We don't need it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, three by ten and a half inch piece and fold it on those score lines. Okay, and so I'm going to place my decorative paper. One will go on the front here. It's going to end up sitting like this. So I want one on the front and one on the back. And you know what? That looks too long. I'm going to have to trim that. So I said two and three fourths on this one length. Oh, I cut it three and three fourths. Nope, that's what I said. Um, I'm going to back it up and do um, three and a half on this one too. So let me trim it real quick. So now I'll need to go around the edge real quick where I cut that off. So instead of making them two different sizes, go ahead and just cut them both at um, two and three fourths inches, uh, two and three fourths by three and a half instead of three fourths. That's going to work better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm using the glitter glue on the back. It has a firm hold. And center it. Push it down and let it adhere real well. And I'm going to go ahead and put the other one on the back. Yeah, that's much better. I think the teachers are going to like this. Nothing like a nice surprise with candy and coffee gift card on long nights. We start at like 7 in the morning and we don't get done until 8 or 8.30 at night on conference nights. So it does make for a long evening. But all is possible with coffee. <laughs> Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have some 1 8 inch score tape and I'm going to, the two that are decorated with the paper, I'm going to place a thin piece of score tape along the bottom. Okay, so remember it's going to be sitting like this and so I put the score tape at the top so that I can close it and stick the gift, uh, the envelope in there. Okay, so then it has the opening. All right, so I'm also, while I have this out, going to put some score tape on the base so that we will be able to attach the um, part that holds the coffee cup. And now I'm using 1 fourth inch and I just go around the perimeter of this square At first I was going to put it on the bottom of the actual um, piece that holds the coffee cup, but I was finding it was too hard to adhere and line up, so I think it's going to be easier if we just put it on the base. 
and one more piece along the side here. Don't make sure you don't go over that fold or that score line. Okay. And make sure it's on real well. And that's where we'll set the other piece on top. Okay. So let's move this to the side. And now we're going to work with the paper that we scored at one half and at one. And I'm going to go ahead and do some cutting first and then I'm going to go and do some, um, take my um, scoring tool, my burn, uh, bone folder, excuse me, and burnish the creases or the scores. So you will notice that there are four squares uh, on each corner. We are going to cut off three of them on all four corners. And so it's the outside three. I don't know if you can see that pen. Okay, so we're going to leave the inside square and get rid of the three on the outside. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. I'm just cutting on that score line and I end up cutting the two off at once and then the third one. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and angle these. So take a little tiny piece off so that it ang so that it's at an angle. And I'm going to do it on this side too. Okay. I'm going to come back and now do the next corner. Take the three off on the outside edge. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and miter or angle, cut off a little section there, a little tiny triangle. Third corner, same thing. And right there. Take a little tiny triangle off each corner there. And we're going to end up doing that on the little flaps or tabs that we're going to have too, but we'll do that in a second. Okay, and miter. Things just fold nicer and don't have as much overlap in bulk. All right, so let me clean up here a second. Okay, so now it's time to do the tabs. And so where we have that square left, we're gonna cut up on the score line so that it meets the above score line. So I'm just gonna snip that right there. And I'm going to do that on the other side, snip it right there. But I'm also going to miter these so that they fold nicer. So I'm just going to take a hair off of that corner and a hair off of that, like a sliver, so that you have this. Okay, and I'm going to do that over here. Just a tiny sliver. And the other sides cut up to the score line. So you just have that little square, that little tab. And I'm going to miter the corners or angle them off so that they'll fold nice. Don't need much. And I have one left. And I don't like that one. Okay. This is a fast project. So now we're going to um, fold on our score lines. And I'm going to go in and do the next level or the next layer of score lines. And I'm just using my hand. Usually I use a bone folder, but for this I can do it really fast. On, okay. So um, what we're going to do next is we are going to place the decorative paper. Now this is a square, so it doesn't matter how, which side you put it on, but you're going to choose three sides. And this is where you're going to adhere these strips and you're going to do it on. So here's my square. I'm going to do it on the first layer. I'm going to attach that. And then this will be empty. Okay, so let me take a minute to do that. I'm just going to use the glitter glue. And 
I'm just going to lay it down flat here. It's just easier. And two more to do, just the same way. A little bit of glue on the back. You're going to place it on the first section where the tabs are so that the bottom piece is empty. Press down so it adheres. And my third side. Okay. Now what you're going to put on the fourth side, rather than it being decorative paper, it's going to be a piece of score tape so that it will attach to the back of the base. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. And that's one fourth inch score tape. Okay. So now we need a circle in the center so that the cup can sit inside. And so I'm going to turn this upside down and um, it might help if you um, find the center. So let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm just going to place my ruler from one corner to the opposite corner. And using my pencil, I'm just going to mark, I'm trying to find the center. So I'm just going to put a little mark there. And then I'm going to do the other side. And remember, this won't be seen because it's on the inside. Corner to corner. Okay, so where those two lines overlap, I know that's my center. And the reason why I need that is so that I can center my circle, my hole, for the coffee cup. Now, some of you have different ways of cutting the circle. Some of you might have a die cut machine, and I do. But I still have this. You guys remember these from a long time ago? And they have the cutting tool. I still have them, so I'm going to use it. Now, I do have a slight issue in that the third one that I cut is just a smidgen too small, and the fourth circle is a smidgen too big. So I'm going to cut um, a little bit smaller, and then I will just have to trim around it so that it fits inside. So I'm just going to lay my paper down, and I'm going to find the center, or put this circle in the center. And like I said, you probably have a different way. You might have um, different tools to cut out the center. And I need the third one here. So one, two, three. Okay. Now with these, you have to go back and cut or snip where it did not cut all the way. Okay, so this is where I'm going to have to do a quick trim because mine is just not quite the right size, which doesn't make my circle perfectly round when I cut because I'm not the world's best cutter, but people don't notice once you put the coffee cup in there. I don't think. <laughs> and if they do notice, then they have to give it back. Um, let's see if that's going to work. Once I get the paper on, it's going to be a little bit thicker, but I'm. let's try it. I don't want to cut too much. Oh, what was that? Okay, so I'm going to place my piece on top of here. Okay. And so what I want to do before I do that is glue down my little tabs. Oh, you know what? That's going to take a while to dry too. I forgot. So I have, I found these at uh, Tuesday morning. They're those quilting, um, quilting clothes pinning things. Love them. They're awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on the tab and then I'm going to fold it over and then I'm going to place one of my clips to hold it while it dries. And then I'll do the same thing for the next corner. Put a little glue and tuck it behind the next one. And I'm going to get one of those pins or those clothespin thingies. Tuck 
two more. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I'll just do this one. Last one. This glue dries fast, so it won't take long. Oh, slipped. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for a second. While we're letting that dry, let's go ahead and wrap our cup. So, I already cut my strip out. It does not look perfect and that's okay. Um, the rounded top goes to the top of the cup and then we wrap it around and it will look like that. Now I have placed some score tape on the back. You definitely need them at, you definitely need them at the ends and then I put one in the center and then one on each side just so that it can kind of stick as we put it on the cup. Okay. So I'm going to start with taking off the center piece of score tape and I'm going to place that. So here's the seam of my cup. So I want the opposite side and I'm going to place the center here. Okay. And I'll just press down and then I'll take off the next piece of score tape as I wrap it. Okay, now I'll go to the other side and take that one off. Press down. And I want the nicer side. See, this is kind of messy. So this is going to be the one that's tucked underneath and then I'll put the other side on top. So let me put the messy one down first. That's the side that I extended so that it would Go all the way around the cup and have some overlap. And then I'll put this piece on top of it and it will be much nicer to look at. Fabulous. And again, this is the amber and apricot paper. So it's kind of fallish, this paper, um, but it's more mature, you know, than using a Halloween paper or something. And it's feminine, so I like that. Just make sure it's adhered real well. Okay, so now we have that. I'm going to set that to the side. We should have our glue dry on our base. So I'm going to take my clips off. I'll be using the clips again because when I adhered the strand of pearls to this, I had to, the glue works really well once it's dry, but I had to clip the things on so that the beads wouldn't fall off while it was drying. Okay, so we are going to place this so that you need the score tape on the back so that it's facing the back of your uh, container. And we're just going to set it down so that these pieces are on top of the score tape, like so. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere it to the back first because I think that helps me line it up better and it's to make sure that I can still fold it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to take the... I'm going to... I lied. I'm going to do it all at once. No, I'm not. I'm going to do the back piece and then put these off to the side to line it up. So that's how I'm, I took the back piece off and then I just put these off a little bit so that I can hopefully get this on straight. finish taking the pieces off there and off the front. And I'm going to try and push it down real well. But on the inside, I'm just running my hand along the inside. If you can get your bone folder in there, you can do that. So let's see. go around the edge and I'm going to stand it up and make sure the back 
it has adhered real well. Okay, so this is the part where I found out that I needed a bigger hole because once I added this um, paper, which is by Blue Fern, um, is a little bit thicker. Oh, it works. Yay! It fit in the hole just fine. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, um, so I'm going to move this to the side now and I'm going to adhere the pearls onto this because that takes a while to dry. So I got to get my, I put a lot on, a lot of the clips on as I went. And again, it's just a string of pearls, flat back pearls. And there's a ridge here and I'm just going to put, I'm going to go a little bit at a time and put some glue down. Lay the pearls on top of that glue and it's going to move on you. So I'm going to place my clips so that they don't move. And like I said, I'm going to put a lot of clips. So then I'm going to go and add some more glue. Lay the pearls down. Turn it and do some more. Keep clipping. And a few more. And finish it off. Out of the way. Put my glue on there. And it looks like I have one pearl too many, so I'm going to snap that off there. And get more clips. Okay, isn't that beautiful? I'm just going to set that over here. Alright, so while that is uh, drying, let's go ahead and decorate the back here. So I have my two leaves that are kind of acting as wings on this project. That's what it looks like to me. And I'll just put a little bit of glue at the base. Don't need a whole lot. And eyeball it how you like it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the next piece. And obviously you can decorate it any way you want. I just tried to make it a little bit feminine. Now there is a guy on my that I teach with. He ain't going to get one. I don't know what I'm going to do for him. Maybe just give him a cup of coffee. I don't know. Push down. Okay, here's my flower. Put some glue on the back of that. And where the two overlap, I'm going to place the flower there. Press down a little bit so it can dry. Now I'm going to take my cup out. Um, on the first one I showed you, I had this like lightweight, it's not really twine, just light thread, and I wrapped it around. This time I'm going to do it a little bit different. I really like this crinkle ribbon from the store, from the Country Craft Creations. So I'm going to make a bow. I say that. I'm not very good at bows, but I'm going to make it work. And I want it at the 
uh, close to the top. And I don't know if my tail's long enough. Let me give myself some more give here. Okay. I feel like all thumbs. Because see the lid, we have to make sure that the lid, we don't get in the way when we put the lid on. So I can't put it all the way to the top, but pretty close. Tighten it. See, whenever I do bows, I get, I gotta work with it because I want the tails at the bottom. And because this is the crinkle ribbon, it has some give. So you can move it around so that it stays up. Do I want the bows that big? I think I'll pull them down a little bit more. And uh, That's gonna have to work. Once I put my tag on it, maybe that'll help. And I'm gonna angle my corners. I don't like how that's laying. Hmm, I don't know if I like that or not. Well, we'll see. So, I want to make sure that where the tag kind of comes off to the side that will help the bow stay the way it's supposed to. And I'm just going to use some tape on the back. So I'm going to put, um, I'll use one fourth. This down the center. Like so. That'll work. Okay. And hopefully my glue is dry on the lid. And we can start taking off the clips here. Sun calling again. Yep, it feels dry. But you still want to be careful just in case it's not all the way dry, but it feels pretty good. So I'm going to place the lid on top. Till it... There we go. I just think the pearls add so much. And then, remember there'd be candy inside of there. Uh, this one feels a little bit. Okay, so that's what we have. And then I'm going to stick the envelope that we made earlier that would hold the gift card. Back behind there. And there you go. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. See if I can get a better, clearer picture. No, that's not good. About there. All right. Oopsie. I think everybody would kind of like to get that as a gift. Gift card, a little candy, a little cute container. Everything I use pretty much is from Country Craft Creations. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, enjoy making some. I think people will love them.